We're going to be looking at scrapey selectors here and we're going to be testing with scrapey shell and we're going to be getting some selectors from the amazon.co.uk website so off we go. Okay so in the browser we've gone to amazon.co.uk forward slash new releases um, and pick any item doesn't matter uh, right click inspect and it will bring up the developer tools and then we want to hover over the the code the HTML until it gets us to this specific point which identifies uniquely identifies what we want to be uh, pulling out the href from so in this case I think it's going to be this one and class a section a spacing none p13n dash asin so that's what we will be um, we can copy that into a notepad or a text editor and that is what we will start to create our XPath with. So now we've got the class name, we are going to use that to uh, identify the link and extract it using a selector. How, we, how will we do that? Well, we will form it using response.xpath, which is a which is a scrapey um, method. Then um, the XPath syntax div with the at symbol in the class in square brackets. Then the class name that we've just retrieved using Chrome and the developer tools goes here um, in the red where you can see XYZ. To get the href, we then close the square brackets and do forward slash a forward slash href. And then uh, to end it, we just do get all because we want to get all of the links on the page. So I think there's 15 or so. Um, and you can see fetch. When we open up Scrapey, we do fetch amazon.co.uk new releases. And that will test it in the Scrapey shell and from there we then try our xpath and fingers crossed we will get all of these hrefs so back to the other screen and we'll test it live okay so let's test our xpath uh, selector in scrapey so scrapey shell so scrapey shell is where you can test your xpaths it is not the scrapey uh, spider or crawler as such. Let's fetch Okay, spider opens. Um, we get a 200 message there, which is what we want to see because it means there's been um, response okay. Good. So now you've just seen the X path that we've created. So we've created it. Does it work? Let's find out. So at class equals and then we now put in the part that we identified from the inspect element using Chrome so there we have the class name Let's close that and then because we want to get the hrefs let's put this at the end 
Right, so probably a bad idea. I was trying to actually uh, type type that in. Um, lesson learned, copy and paste at all times. So here we go. Response.xpath div class equals and then this is what I pasted in from Chrome and then forward slash a forward slash at href which gets the link from the response. It picks that out. Otherwise you would be left with all of the text which you don't want. So let's go. And um, we've got it. We've got uh, I'm not going to count those, but probably about 17 or so um, hrefs. And if we were to paste any of those into the end of the Amazon.co.uk page, okay, let's do it. You want me to fail, don't you? Okay, let's stick with 1917. If we just copy that link and paste it onto the end of the Amazon URL. Too many forward slashes there. There we go. And there we have it. So from from the class we've created an XPath selector and it's got all of the links and then with all of those links we could then proceed to uh, follow those with Scrapey so good so we've seen uh, we've seen the XPath selector work that we created for the Amazon hot new releases and um, there's the actual breakdown so we found the A section, A spacing none, P113, class name using Chrome. Uh, then we added on A slash href to just pick out the href, otherwise we would have got all of the uh, text. So with those hrefs, we had the option to just get, which would have just picked out the first one, or get all, which got us approximately 17 or 18 of them. And then you can see response.xpath, which is a scrapey method. Then we've got the xpath syntax here. And then get all, which, um, as I say, you may see extract or extract first, uh, but get is the recommended new uh, method to, to get everything. Next, eBuyer. So if you're ready to go to eBuyer and look for some links for some products and some prices, let's get on with that. So we're going to go to this URL and look at some Samsung electronics mobile phones. So let's go. So eBuyer, ah, it's still in my history, which is nice. So we're going to go to this link and it is a list of Samsung mo mobile phones for no specific reason other than it's a good thing to test out. Um, so we want to scrape all of the links and prices. We'll get the links first so uh, if you're ready let's do that. So we want to identify where the link will be. So the link will be behind more info but also you can see the hand hovering over the uh, the image. So let's try that. Right click, inspect, and straight away we're getting a nice link, which is here. And then if we just go up, we want to find the class name. So the class name is here. So that's a lot nicer looking than the previous example with Amazon, isn't it? So let's try that. Let's use listing-image for our XPath. So if we copy that URL, right click copy, and then go back to our Scrapey machine. And then again, we want to do fetch, open bracket, we'll paste in the link, some eBuyer, Samsung, etc. Ah, we need to put it in quotes, don't we? There we go. 
200, re return 200 response, which is what we want. And let's try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with fire. Let's try and type it again. So as usual, div, and then we want to tell it to go to the class called listing image single quotes because you want the inner quote single and the outer to be double quotes otherwise you will have an error double quote there dot get all hold your breath and an error again why can this be ah an erroneous forward slash there try again there we go yeah we have all of the links to all of the samsung products on the Samsung Electronics page. So if you want to see me test one, let's go. We'll do what we did before. Let's just pick out that one. And if we bring up Chrome and let's just paste that in there when it's going to be actually copy it for us copy paste and there we have it so yeah append that to the original start url and off you go again with scrapey you're going from a page of links and products uh, down to the actual product detail itself so there we go um the next thing would be to scrape the prices. So if you want to see that, let's do that next. So back on the products page, let's have a look at this and see what class or tag it's got. And okay. So I think we're gonna have to go up a bit here so we've got a p tag for price which includes was and current price and yeah let's try the p tag so i don't know i'm copying that price i think i'm just about going to be able to type that in let's put that back into scrapey so um Let's, uh, let's um, edit what we had before because that might save a little bit of typing. So we have, ah, it's not even a div, is it? So we want to pick out the P tag and then the class was called price. So. priced there and then we just want the text of that so instead of doing the href we'll just do text and double quotes to match the one at the start close the bracket and then get all and we've got an error why is that uh, missing an equals uh, there we go so we've got all the prices a um, little bit messy there um, that will need cleaning up but that's beyond the scope of what I want to show here today um, I'll um, just let you in on a little tip there's a, a method called normalize dash space so that would 
that would be my first port of call when I want to uh, strip out. But there you've got the, um, I'm thinking that's the uh, main price and that's the price X VAT. So um, yeah, that's that's the starting point for that. So uh, I, I'm not going to go into that. So next, I uh, just want to demonstrate that you can, as I alluded to in the previous video, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, if you pardon the expression, it's a phrase we use to describe two ways of doing something to get the same result. And here we've got, um, let me just go back and show you the, the XPath method of getting all of the links from the Samsung uh, page on the eBuyer website. So there we had exactly what we wanted. We wanted all of the HREFs. Um, let me just show you, just while we're at it, just show the CSS way of doing things. So instead of CS, instead of XPath, it's .css, and then we will say div dot listing. That's the CSS way of saying that we're looking for a class. So div class listing dash image. Then we want to look for the attribute href in the quotes and as before get all. And as you can see, we've got the identical output. Hope you found this useful. In the next video, we'll go on to looking at some more sophisticated XPath and CSS selectors. Uh, for now, that's it. So uh, yeah, leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you like. It's free world. So yes, yeah, until next time, bye bye.